Hey, welcome to Bystanders at the Newsstands. I'm Christian Chuku on this wonderful edition of the program. This wonderful wet morning. Today is Wednesday in the city of Lagos, Ogba to be precise. And I'm with my wonderful uh, reviewers here this morning. I'm with Mr. Lucky, Mr. Matthew, and Mr. Samuel Chigozier David. The house is full this morning under this weather. Okay, let's move over to the newspaper headline. Before we move over, we are saying a big thank you and welcome to everyone that has been watching Flip TV, that has subscribed to Flip TV. We are also on Facebook, Flip TV NG. You can also uh, go there for more updates and uh, uh, news uh, reports. Okay, let's move over to the newspaper headline. I have with me the Vanguard newspaper this morning above the masthead. Nigeria to reduce imports by 35% in first quarter of 2022. Nigeria to reduce imports by 35% in first quarter of 2022. That's a good news uh, for the country. The main headline, uh, rise in prices sends 7 million, 7 million more Nigerians into poverty. Rise in prices sends 7 million more Nigerians into poverty. There's an alarming story this morning. It says, prices increasing rapidly advocates measures to protect poor people from inflation. Nigeria faces interlinked challenges. Inflation, insecurity, limited job opportunities. MBS reports 17.9% 17 inflation rate for May. Food inflation highest in Kogi, Kwara, Enugu, Ogun, and Anambra. Food inflation highest in Kogi, Kwara, Enugu, Ogun and Anambra. Anti open grazing laws about people, not governors. Anti open grazing laws about people, not governors. That is credited to Umahi, governor of a boy state. How monarchs, elites, aid headsmen atrocities. How monarchs, elites, aid headsmen atrocities. That is from AKT Farmers. You must end insurgency, banditry. Others, reps, tell army chief. You must end insurgency, banditry, others, reps, tell new army chief. That is it on the vanguard. Let's go online this morning and look at also the Guardian newspaper. Rising prices, weaken disposable incomes despite easing inflation. Rising prices, weaken disposable incomes despite easing inflation. Uh, military bombards bandits in northwest, north central forest. That is from the Punch newspaper. Military bombards bandits in northwest and north central forest. Uh, Osu Major Tet test rides locally assembly assembled electric car says innovation fantastic. Osu Major test and rides locally assemb assembled electric car says innovation fantastic. Over to the Tribune. Inflation pushed 7 million Nigerians into poverty in 2020. Inflation pushed 7 million Nigerians into poverty in 2020. That is from the World Bank. No Gazette established grazing routes in Nigeria. No Gazette established grazing routes in Nigeria. That is from Alani Pekun. It says that land use acts vest all powers on land in governors, not federal government. He adds, land use acts vest all powers on land in governors, not federal government. He adds, grazing reserves law of 1964 was applicable to northern region. We may not guarantee regular services over rising insecurity. We may not guarantee regular services overriding insecurity that is from mtn uh, corruption high profile nigerians after my life that is efcc boss i profile nigerians after my life efcc boss is raising the alarm full and threat tight security in asaba agbo full and threat tight security in asaba agbo or your governors or your government moves beggars to resettlement center or your government moves beggars to resettlement center the daily sun twitter ceo liable for NSAS crisis from the federal government the ceo of twitter jack dorsey has been said by the federal government to be liable for NSAS crisis southeast or anese to meet over inhumane treatments or anese to meet over inhumane treatments a fairly fair middle bed forum arewa youth wazurike Kokori call for electronic voting. A fairly fair middle belt forum. Arewa youth Wazurike Kokori call for electronic voting. Okay, lastly, let's look at the blueprint newspaper. Bandits informants in my government. That is from Niger Governors. Angst on 150 kidnapped captives. It says that bandits 
are informants in his government. He's saying, otherwise he's saying that most officials in his government are informants for bandits. Say I cannot trust anybody anymore, slams media for diverging intelligence. Zamfara community seeks to and more troops. Reps urge new chief of army staff to adopt new strategies. Okay, that's it for it today on the newspaper uh, headlines. Let's move on to our wonderful reviewers. I have Mr. Chigo with me. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Christian. I think that is okay. Okay, it's okay. okay. Thank you. And we good morning, news, esteemed yeah. viewers. Okay, we have the news this morning. Rising prices send seven more seven million Nigerians into poverty. <laughs> That is from the World Bank. Rise in prices of commodities and uh, basic, of course, commodities I and necessities. In the chat with the president, he said that 10 million Nigerians have been deeply employed. <laughs> and now 10 minus 7 have been plunged into poverty. How do you connect the two together? Yes, let me begin this day with a good note. Uh, I may want to appreciate the woman of my life which uh, is plus one today and uh, she has been so uh, helping and uh, understanding so encouraging and uh, i may want to use this uh, opportunity to appreciate her the woman of my life the mother of my children and uh, my great manager you see you may wonder who would be able to manage somebody like Chigos here, and um, she has been doing a very good job. I may want you to, my esteemed viewers, to also uh, wish her well, and uh, I pray that God will continue to sustain her and grant her her desires. Yes, uh, coming down to. <laughs> Yes, Buari was actually right when he said he has created jobs for 10 million Nigerians uh, in perspective. Of course, you understood that during his time, uh, uh, Boko Haram have metaphorized into banditry. That means absorption of more youth into banditry. The headers, uh, of course, killer headers, men, Hesmen and uh, kidnapping had been striving under his watch. You can see, of recent, was it yesterday or so? Even the Erofi, one of his uh, henchmen, accused him that under his watch, uh, Boko Haram has become more, I mean, devastating. They have gained more grounds, and uh, that is in the employment he meant. The army was begging Boko Haram and Isu to repent. You heard the story? <laughs> Ah, yes, to repent now, so that they will be reintegrated into the Nigerian force and uh, pushed down to the east to continue the genocide. That is why they are joining or lobbying them. Not just that uh, they want their assistance to exterminate the, of course, the Easterners. And when a system is inhumane, it could, of course, it's unfortunate. It could bring the extreme in all of us. That is what we are seeing when the system is inhumane. And uh, you see, we cannot, we cannot longer continue with the system. A system that does not care for us. A system that does not listen to our cries and woes, our pains, agonies. A system that is bent at exterminating all of us does not deserve a day of existence. You can understand the, the, the cruelty, the, how, what best word can I use to describe this entity? A system that is against her own people does not want a day of existence. So what we are having now is not a system, a system that is inhumane. That system is Nigeria. A system that does not feel or listen to the cries of our own people. You see, of course, that's why, the, of course, um, the harnesses or whatever might be meeting to discuss about that. That is the, 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 the expression of Nigeria for you. So do you keep on tolerating such system? It doesn't listen to your cry. Look at 
uh, uh, the rise this in food sent over 7 million Nigerians to, this is just an underestimated uh, value. Over 100 millions of Nigerians are, are living below poverty line. They're living below one dollar per day. And what is one dollar now? One dollar is over or uh, about equivalent to 500 naira. There are people who could not afford for a day. 500 naira. Even most of the people working in factories, they are, when you calculate their salary, basic salary, monthly salary, after removing the transportation, it's not up to 300 naira. So how do you feed with 300 naira morning, night, and the evening? It means most people are resorting to 001 formula. I hope you are aware of that. We are taught of that when we are in school. 010 or 0111. Or even some people, 000, because there is no hope for the next meal. There is no hope for the next day. They just, they are privileged to wake up and uh, left at the mercy of whatever happens to them. When you are going along the streets, uh, probably maybe they presume I'm a big man. Of course, I'm a big man. And, uh, and, and, and God has... Yes, we are going to Nigerian money and God has placed that greatness within me. You see people will people with reasonable personalities may want to approach you, please can you find something for me? Genuinely they meant it because there is nothing on, in their pockets. There was one man that met me one day. I will shed tears because I have nothing on me. I could only pray God please make provision for him. But if I have I can just just tip something. That is the state of the, the nation where we found ourselves. People could no longer afford a daily meal. Only bread, a staple food. How much is bread now? Bread is becoming a uh, billionaire's uh, meal. It's quite tough. Even the so-called agege bread is no longer affordable. Quite unfortunate. Okay, the federal government is blaming Twitter CEO. He's <laughs> saying that he's the, he, the cause of NSAS crisis. <laughs> <laughs> this federal government, I've told you that when you have a system that is inhumane, it does not deserve a day of existence. Nigeria does not listen to the cry of her own people, the agony, the woes. Yeah. I, I, I have a cause to take my younger child to hospital yesterday. You can see the number of people keying up. Number of people. Even at the emergency world, we have lesser uh, medical personnel to attend to. The ratio of the patient to uh, medical personnel is zero. The system is not working. Look at the primary responsibility of government is to protect life and property. By implication, if there is no safety, there can be productivity. There can be progress. You cannot attract foreign investors, eggs. People may not want to invest their resources. Multinationals may not see it as a, a safe haven for investment. You can understand the implication. So if the government fails in this primary objective, they have failed in every aspect of our existence. When people feel insecure, when people cannot move about I mean, their legitimate duties, without being harassed, without fear of being killed or hacked to death. So you can understand, and this will give rise to economic uh, insecurity, hazards. That's why people, of course, I told you that just about 245 metric tons, that is the production capacity of the Nigerian state, food capacity. When you have uh, Ghana that is about six times less than the population of Nigeria, Ghana, about 32 million could produce 3 million metric tons of food annually. When Nigeria that claims to be giant of uh, nonsense, giant of emptiness, Nigerian population is six times more than that of Ghana. And we can only generate, produce, of course, just two points, less than 250 metric tons. How do you expect, why wouldn't there be increase in the prices of food and commodity? Comparing the ratio and the, in fact, it means that we are, we are going hunger. 
We are going hungry in this country. And such system cannot be allowed to continue. That is the, that is the logic. The more we allow the system to st continue, it means we are creating more catastrophe. We are in endangering our own self and posterity to come. Okay. So we must end this system so that you can achieve and realize your dream, expectations. One more question. How soon do you see Biafra coming? How soon? Biafra is already here. Is because no we have won the psychological war. For everyone, uh, average, of course, Easterner, by, what I mean by Easterner, the Shekiris, uh, the Yorubos, and all that. And everyone understood that they don't belong to Nigeria. They have a country called Biafra. And that you cannot take this ideology from them. And you don't have any other superior ideology to dislodge or displace the current ideology. So Biafra is already in existence. That's why it is, of course, the talk of the day. Nobody's talking about Nigeria. Because they knew, of course, Nigeria is already has collapsed. And no multinational or international country will want to invest in this country. Why? Because it clearly depicts that they can no longer have confidence in the system. The system could no longer secure their property and their investments. So if you are doing that, it is means at your own risk. So everybody understood that this system has failed. And the only system we have now is Biafra. And that's why in Biafra we have hope, in Biafra we have life. Okay. In Biafra we have, of course, respect for human life, the sanctity of life, and uh, of course, development. You can imagine the Biafrans, wherever they, you found them, are promising, are very productive. Not just the Igbo, the Biafrans. Most of the Biafrans are not majorly into oil exploration and uh, oil business. But they are doing exceptionally well in every field of endeavor. They are doing well. See them in one of the most choice places of the world. So we don't depend even on oil to survive. Unlike Nigeria that depends on good oil cell, mono, mono economy. And once the, economy, the oil crumbles, Nigeria collapses with it. So we are looking for a viable state where we can explore other revenue uh, generation. We can advance and create enabling environments that can attract foreign investors. Uh, I think I've taken much of the time. Let me stop today. Thank you very much. Mr. Thank you very much. Mr. Have a great day. Okay, I want to say uh, a big welcome. Thank you, Mr. Mimi Peace, Levi Nati, and also we have Chukujeku, Naiwu, uh, Noble Ihungo, uh, Herb Wand, Ike Chuku Ezenwa, Anna Yo Ebuka. Uh, also, everyone that have contributed this morning, keep on with the comments uh, as we continue. Mr. Matthew, good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Christopher. Yesterday on Monday, you put, spoke about... Uh... ...the Nigerian army begging of making a plea to Boko Haram and Iswap that they should embrace peace. Should that be the way uh, it should be done? Thank you very much for having me. Matthew is the name. You see, it exposes Nigerian states as a weak sovereign state. How can you, as a sovereign state, asking Boko Haram to come to the negotiating table? By our standard, you are telling the world that you do not have what it takes to run the country against internal aggression. This one is not even external aggression. So I think the, the government should know that there are some certain statements you make, you are exposing your government as not have what it takes to police the nation. By our standard, why should a GOC be inviting Boko Haram to a negotiating table? I think what they needed to do is use further might on them. Let it be that the Boko Haram, the ISWAP are the one begging that they want to repent, asking government to accept, accept them if they repent. Then the government will not give them condition. No government asking them, begging them to come to the negotiating table. Here we are, we have Nigerians 
who have been asking and yearning that there should be a negotiating table to discuss about Nigeria corporate existence. Like the Afeni Fera, Ohanese, um, uh, Middle Bet. Everybody is unanimously asking the government to provide a platform to renegotiate about Nigerian existence. And the government is not doing anything about it. Here we have a, G a GOC asking Boko Haram to come to the negotiating table. I don't think it's a good omen for Nigerian uh, state. Nam Nikano said that the reason is why they're asking them so that they can bring them into the army so that they can go and fight. They'll, they'll, they'll dish them to the south and they'll start killing them. Does that look true to you? Whatever is the reason, I am not I am not speaking for Nandikalo, I am not speaking for IPO. But as an individual, I do not see the need of Nigerian government asking Boko Haram to come to the negotiating table. Asking Boko Haram to embrace, um, um, yes, to open talk with Boko Haram. What they needed to do is, they have all, all it takes. They have air raid. Boko Haram do not have it. So, sooner or later, we are going to get some Tucano gel from America. These are critical war armament that the federal government can deploy against Boko Haram. So, what is it that they need that they have not gotten? In 2018, there was um, 1 billion US dollar that the federal government withdrew from SS crude account for the purpose of prosecuting this war. So, what is their predicament that they should be begging Boko Haram to negotiate with them? What I'm saying in essence is, federal government should use federal might against Boko Haram. Let it be that Boko Haram is the one begging and asking for an amnesty. Then the federal government will not give them condition. What you needed to do is arrest their leaders, arrest each and every one of them that you can lay on on, prosecute them. Because if you are not prosecuting them, we are not. You are not. They, I mean, the all repentant ones, all repentant ones. They are not seeing their colleagues being prosecuted, and all they see is that is federal government jitre uh, the Nigerian army that is jitre. They will have that morale. They, are, they, they will have that um, impunity, and they will, it will increase their tenacity. But if they see the might of federal government in decimating them, in combating them, I think it will it will it will expose them as a weaker uh, opponent, and it will force them to start begging. Only recently, Iswap claimed to have forced Shakao to commit suicide. Okay. And yesterday, there are reports, I think it's in uh, leadership newspaper this morning or so, I'm not too sure, where they reported that even Boko Haram have accepted that Boko Haram, uh, sorry, Shakao is dead. So if Iswap can fight Boko Haram to the point where a Shakao who had defied Nigerian sovereignty to commit suicide. And this is a war Nigerian security forces have fought for more than nine years now. So it tells you that there's something fundamentally, fundamentally wrong with Nigerian sovereign states. Okay, rising prices send 7 million more Nigerians into poverty. Remember the president's speech that he said that 10 million jobs had been created by his government. Now, there's a report that 7 million more Nigerians are plunging into poverty. How do you connect the two together? I don't know where the president is lifting people out of poverty. And it, uh, you don't use fiat. Uh, pronouncement, utterance to leave people out of poverty. If you want to leave people out of poverty, you create job. You provide an enabling environment for business to flourish. For by all standard, word over, the government do not provide um, direct uh, job for generating of the people. What they do is they provide a platform, the enabling environment for business to flourish. That's what they do in a sane society. Because how many people can government parastatas, government agencies absorb? There is little government can do in terms of direct employment. But what they do is they create an enabling environment for investors to come in. They open the business space for people, for people who have money to come in and play. But what we see in Nigeria is the government policy is even killing businesses. Do you know how many Nigerians are willing as a result of this Twitter ban? Do you know the impact it's having on SMEs? It's enormous. Many, because the way it stands, some people are dissident by passing um, networks using VPN. But government agencies are no longer using uh, Twitter. And some individuals decide to be obedient to government ban uh, and they are not using Twitter. 
So by our standard, so many businesses are suffering. Look at cryptocurrency team. Nigerian youths, Nigerian entrepreneurs have not yet recovered from the impact of that policy of CBN. So what I'm saying is, I do not know how and who is benefiting from the 10 million job the federal government or 10 million persons federal government is saying they are living out of poverty. What the only thing we see is the federal government will issue a statement that in the near future, maybe in 10 years time, in five years time, they are listing XYZ number of people out of poverty. Before you know, after one year, they are now that they have lifted, they already lifted XYZ number of persons out of poverty. You don't leave people out of poverty with statement, with fiat. You do it, it's something that is feasible. You do it if you are creating job, people will know that job is being created. Okay. okay. As federal government is partnering China in building railway, are we not seeing the railway on ground? We are seeing it because it's a feasible thing you can see. Perhaps if not that it is a direct thing that China is coming here to execute, I don't think we would have seen it come to limelight. But what I'm saying is, federal government for me, they are deceiving Nigerians. They are not telling us the truth. Because the people they say they are living out of poverty, lifting out of poverty, is not being reflected in the regular society. I don't know, maybe if you know any person that has benefited or yes, out of that uh, federal government um, policy of lifting out of poverty, maybe you can, you can tell me. I don't know any person who has benefited from it. Lai Mohammed has come out to say that Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey is responsible for the crisis of NSAS. Lai Mohammed is deceiving. Is causing problem for this country. And coming, why I say is causing problem for this country is this: if the founder of Twitter funded NSAS, and the federal government felt that it was as a result of activity of the uh, Twitter vis-a-vis -vis the founder of Twitter, that is why there was action in Nigeria. Federal government knows what to do. They should take the Twitter, the founder of Twitter, to court, rather than making all Nigerians to suffer because of. Um, uh, one person that is having an issue with Twitter, I mean, Mr. Mr. President, Muhammad Buhari. That in other countries, you see the government take maybe Twitter, uh, was, um, WhatsApp, maybe uh, Instagram, maybe Facebook. They take them to go when they feel that they, 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 they have suffered damage as a result of activities of the um, social media. That is the right thing to do. Not shutting down the social media platform in the country. What they needed to do is, if you feel you have suffered damage as a result of the um, social media platform in your country, it should a legal action against the media house. He will have the man will have his day in court. You have your day in court. The court will strike the balance. If there are damages that needed to be paid, the court will ask the uh, media organization, uh, social media, to pay the damage damages to the government, rather than going to the extent of making Nigerians to suffer, not minding the economic impact or the policy on your own citizens. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Matthew. Thank you, Mr. Okay, let me greet one of uh, our people, Mr. Tunde Okafo, uh, that is in the name, Anna Yoebuka, Nelson Gibbert, uh, we are seeing you, Promise TV, Victor, Mr. Victor Obuike, Alfred Okwanachi, Herb Wand, and also we have Lilian Pasca. Uh, yeah, welcome. Keep on the tweet and keep, let it keep coming. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Christian. My name is Samo. Good morning, viewers at home. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for the comments and um, the observations. And um, some people as well tried in educating uh, me one way or the other. OK. Does this government believe in the court process? Court? Yes. No, no, they don't. And um, the uh, result on ground has justified that. So, from the court injunction on Dasuki to Namdikano to Elzazaki to, in fact, I can go on and on and list so many, so many, so many, so many, so many. So reluctantly and um, directly and indirectly, with the influence of maybe international communities and you. They reluctantly seem to have obeyed some at the end of the day. So, they don't. Okay. Let's look at uh, the Nigerian army literally begging Boko Haram and Iswab to embrace peace. Uh, it's wisdom now. Nah. Yoruba have a proverb that says, Tiwajo Bashilo and Yashe Padasi. Meaning that if you can't go to the front, you can retrogress and come backward. 
So, that's what I'm saying now. Uh, it's just a simple proverbial saying that there's only two options for the army. Meaning, if you can't go to front, you are heading towards this way and there's no road there, what will you do? You will turn back. So if the army cannot win war, what, what will they do? Within their training and psychology, they should start begging now. Uh. That is the option they have. Is that not disgrace? Well... As a Nigerian, uh, is that a disgrace? Too? Well, as a Nigerian, I've come to a realization that there is nothing that is surprising to me. So because when you check the body language of um, the military when it started this war, and um, the political language of the Northern Allies under the former president, good luck, Billy Jonathan, they consciously and subconsciously made the war to grow. That the then president, uh, under the administration of the village, Jonathan, we are the ones that was killing the north. And the man, when he was about leaving, put reasonably as defeated Boko Haram before handing over. So when our president, northern president, came, with due respect to him, President Muhammad Bidu Buhari, he directly or indirectly decided not to kill the north. So you give a man who has been killing, bombing, and amnesty. So what do you want? People will join that team so that they will enjoy the amnesty. Common sense. So, what do you act? How will you defeat such when people have directly and directly been encouraged to join more? Because if you join Bukhara, you can get amnesty, you can school over you. They will give you white and white and they will do programs for you. You even graduate from the school. Now they cannot say they will be recruited back into Obviously, now they give some of these people a job in order to move them away from Boko Haram and some other appointments. We've seen the government negotiating with uh, kidnappers in some northern part of the country. Some even snap pictures with uh, the governors. So as a gentleman who I'm not into, that no governor will negotiate to me. So, so until you're going to... Obviously, now... For those who have been doing these things, now you know, we know those who government call to round table with. So the more sane you are in this climb, you won't make it. Government won't call you to a round table conversation. Rise in price is send 7 million more Nigerians to poverty. The statistics is more than 7 million. The statistics, the World Bank couldn't have been able to cover some people that uh, should have been covered in reality. So it's an obvious, if you read the report, which I did, prior to COVID, there was a report from the government, federal government, that they have a effect, cautionary effects, not to make uh, the poverty level increase, blah, 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 which is okay. I'm used to this government having so many reports. I wish I can see that report. But if you check the report released by the World Bank, Nigerian inflation rate, as at that point in time, has always been operating on two digits. Now, as at the time, I don't even want to go to the economic analysis because this government don't even understand things that are not calculation. So when you now start going into analysis of minus two, minus three, zero point, they will be more confused. So that's why most I find it difficult to explain to those kind of people the statistical macroeconomic indices. So from the World Bank report, ordinarily, although it indicated that the government had been trying to caution excessive spending, and they were more transparent in oil and gas dealing, which seems to be true. Personally, I give it to them in some of those figures. But when you check the critical sectors, like recently, MTN want to pull out. MTN is saying because of insecurity, there will be no network. When you check the small and medium scale enterprises, when you check power distribution, so when you check some of these data, the repercussionary effects will increase the numbers of inflation generally and will also make the poverty level to increase. So the presidency and uh, whoever came up with that uh, uh, democracy this was just I said it that the economical with the truth because reality will show on the people and for your prices of rice minor commodity like Gary is more difficult than ever it's more difficult so this side of seven million the World Bank did not even capture some people in some areas it's more than seven million in actual sense okay Jack Dorsey is responsible for uh, the killings, the crisis of the answers. That is from Lai Mohammed. I know you don't like him. No, no, I, I like everybody. Okay. But factually, Lai Mohammed has never been factual. So it makes more clear of his educational qualification and his profession. Now, was Jack Dorsey responsible for Boko Haram? 
Was Jack Dorsey responsible for the kidnapping in North? What is she even come out? Let him lie, fool. He lying, Mohammed. Let him come out and say Jack Dorsey is the reason Boko Haram is in the northeast, banditry is in the northwest. So we know that okay, Olai Mohammed has even made the comedy of the whole situation. The truth is the irresponsibility of the government to implement the NSAS report that came up 10 years ago, 11 years ago resulted to the agitation as a result of extrajudicial killings by the police and instead of the government to address that when you check uh, black Lives matter in the united states the police knelt down there was a psychology in handling the people the citizen in our own case police were still killing in the protest go to ecuador police were still grandstanding she won't want answers we go show now sas no go in so it was when it escalated that the military killed the people rose to counter the killing of the military burned out and started killing the police head to head so you now go and blame jack Dodd. you see when you have a people whose body language is different from what they say hypocrisy and lies make a mockery of the system that has been structured to fail the country is failing and we can't take that away to fail the more when you have it is what you do now that will determine what you get in the future you know i was reading some comments from some nigerians it's easy to talk when you are not in nigeria to experience what people are experiencing it's easy to tweet it's easy to sit down there when you cross the border and say oh some people want to spoil nigeria it's so fine don't worry when i leave the country i'll also be saying the same because when you live in the same climes when the institutional framework gives you livelihood and good wi-fi good internet base and good structure you can say nigeria is good but those feeling it here there is irresponsibility of government and the madness of the institution from the federal to state to local government which has also characterized the psychology of an average nigerian and that is the true picture so like Mohammed is saying rubbish from the pit of hell rather we should be complimenting twitter that gave us a medium to express our views and what has really happened to the outer world so to me we are appreciating twitter because if not for twitter so many things that happened during the answers wouldn't have come out to the public space so because i know some things might have happened during the civil war there was no social media to have captured but twitter has exposed the inefficiency and the inept attitudinal display of the third world country like nigeria so our actions in the past and the current action determines that the future is black failure awaits the future is not a matter of prophetic sayings if it is prophecy the church this prayer and the most prayers would have made Nigeria the most developed nation in the world. But the statistics on that show that Nigeria will be the most failed system of all democratic principles in Africa. Ghana is ranked in terms of political stability than Nigeria. Why? So the facts, based on the actions now and what will happen in the future, has shown that the future is black. You don't. Need, see, you see, you can go to spirituality and give the people hope that the country will be better. But the political reality, based on the statistics of political economy and the action of government and inactions are shown that the country is meant to fail. Okay, and lastly, is there any hope? There's no hope as it stands now. It don't matter of spirituality. The hunger, hungry level from 1960 is a personal opinion. What I should be saying is what is the statistics of hope? How do we define hope? To some people, saying in a room and parlor and killing going on in the country is still hope. Why to some other people, if you read about the concept of developmental theories, that they live in a country whereby you're being given a job, you have access to electricity, you have access to internet, to another person that is hope. So the black man whose psychology has been painted to believe that what he gets within the bad structure in the Nigerian is hope for him. So the word hope is relative considering each person. So what is hope to you in a country that arrests a protester and is negotiating with a Boko Haram? It's not hope to me so if mr lucky is up to him it depends on what he sees as hope in 1960 my father said he had four employment when he left school what is happening now so when you look at what has happened from that time till now so you now say there's hope to some people there's hope to some of us that is no hope i'm standing on street with some of other people very educated young men jobless they'll tell you to bring one million to have job in some job placement so and some people will say there's hope a promulgation of 1964. So some people want to say, so what is hope to you is different from what is hope to me. This is not my hope. My hope is in a developed world, not in Nigeria. There is hope. There is hope. When you have God, there is hope. When you call God, there is hope. God is number one. God give everything, give life. Give everything. When you call upon him, he will give you hope. All these, all these years that we have God, 
Why is the country going down the drain? Uh, you know, when they sin, it's too much. Sin. Everybody is sin. Everybody commits sin every day. That's why you can see. They, can they, Canada. Do you see more than Canada? Canada. Yeah. But Canada, if you go to Canada, you know. You say it's sin. You know, yes, mostly our. I mean, Nigeria. in Canada, they commit sin more than Nigeria. But that sin they commit here is very okay, simple. Sin is Compare our sin here. Where a human being will sell his uh, father, or father sell his son. That is highest sin here. Where a uh, billions of naira for the poor people. They and one bar we kept that one billion dollars out. It's the biggest thing. It's a big thing. Nigeria need to go to God. Need that most of our leader. And God forgive us. Everybody is a sinner. Most in Nigeria we are wicked for each other. The way the way Canada white people behave is different from the way Nigeria, particularly Nigeria, here, black nation behave. We are so wicked. Most of our leaders and ourselves. That's what I'm saying. There is hope. The hope is that when when I go to my state, when Nigeria divided to maybe ten places or six places, are you, are you sure going to it would, Nigeria will divide. We have seen it. It's, anyway, Nigeria is divided already. Okay. Nigeria is divided already. No love. No love. The hope is that we will divide in my own state or in my own region. We are going to make it better. Yes. Either Brafra or South South or Niger Delta, whatever they call them. I know by the time we divide. The country, everybody will have hope. But one Nigeria, no, no hope. Okay. Rising prices of goods have sent seven million more Nigerians into poverty. See, my my happiness is that uh, uh, my name is Lucky Ayaguna. I don't know be Lagos. I don't know be Undo. Now, I thank God the World Bank is responding to our our government led by Buhari and the uh, Lime Women and the uh, Femi Adeshino. Now, how can you say Niger 10 million Nigerians are enjoying? That's why World Bank, who is advising the whole economy for the whole world, teaching them billions of dollars, telling our government that uh, Seven million Nigerians are poor. Let me tell you the truth. What is seven million? More than 30 million Nigerians are poor now, no work, nothing. What is seven million? So, World Bank is responding to our federal government. So, Lai Mohammed and his agent, you see, I don't know why his uh, uh, Lai Mohammed family gave him that name. Maybe they see the future. He like lies. This no, no, lie, government lie, is not working. Lie is an Arabic name. Don't 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 use it as an English expression. But now that is that name has been attached to him because he lies Nigerians so much. Lie is he lies so much. Lie. That's the problem. He doesn't say the truth. See, we have a big problem. The problem is that Nigeria. Now, let me tell you, both the elite, both the poor, everybody is crying. A, just one fish, one fish now. You buy it, 1,200 fish. Are, are you aware? You don't, you now, when you want to buy pure water now, in Nigeria now, just hope 50 naira for pure water, or 30 naira. Then a bag of rice. Do you see people, have you seen wedding or birthday, people celebrating birthday or wedding in Nigeria here? Have you seen, no. Everybody is struggling. All we hear is that father used his son to make money. Or say, kidnapping. Kidnapping has become a business in Nigeria whereby everybody now making money for it. Our governments are happy. So, my brother, what I'm saying, poverty in Nigeria is very high compared to what this Cent uh, World Bank is saying, 7 million. More than 30 million children, no job, they are not going to school. Those who are working tell us they are not doing, nobody's buying clothes. What area in the, what, tell me that this government for six years now can post of it. They can let post of Condoleez 
50 key, 100 key, 200 key, 300 key lab. That's what they can post of it. Under Buhari, I watched him that day telling the youth that the youth are not serious. He forgot he has a children. I don't blame him because they map up budget for billion naira for him and his children, for him and, his children and allied in Asorok. So he believed that uh, Nigeria is okay. I don't say me. That because the money for billion for just a year. So money, food everywhere. So that's why Puare is saying Nigeria is okay. Let him come outside and see us here. Every morning, I come here with a couple. I try to make sure, to speak to the world, to make sure that we are suffering. The Canada you are saying and America, their foods are very cheap. I know money is very hard to get there, but the foods, the waters, the drinks are cheap. Government provide all these things. But we, nothing our government is providing. So that's why you see kidnapping. You see so many things happening in Nigeria. My brother, this government, there's no grammar you can speak. Buare and his team has failed us. I won't tell you like they have failed us. Now, I learned that uh, 1,000 cow was clean. By who? Because the government is confused. But they knew that this bandit, I remember that the Buare told us that this bandit are coming from uh, Niger, coming from Olympia. Abi, do you remember? Today, he said politicians are joining them to my brother. This government has no focus. The formation minister is he, he loose. He, says, he doesn't know what he's doing. Why are you pursuing Twitter? That Twitter is the one who connect with SS. Is it now when the Twitter banned the Buare? That they know that the Twitter is the one sponsoring NSAS. And they say they are politicians. Oh my God. This government, I don't need to speak grammar. Buare, even Tulubu, who brought Buare, all of them failed. They failed us. I'm angry with them because they are failures. A failure cannot live in a country. A father that cannot accept to you for six years, you never address your children and your wife. Your wife even run away to Dubai. Come back today. Hey, let me tell you, when Gula was there, his wife was going around giving food to the poor, the needies. Buhari wife is sitting there in Asorok, I bet where he is now. Can't even go up and give the poor women money, food, carry. You are there lavishing billion. China will still talk about Nigeria because the money they borrow. Look at the train, the train they brought. Go and check that train. First class train from Lagos to Ipadon. How much? 6,000 naira. That train looks like all this. Uh, India on train. India on train. That first class from here to Ipadon. You, it's very slow. You can walk with your leg faster than even that train to Ibadan. So what are we talking about? What are we posting for? That Nigeria is moving up. We are going down, down, down. Nigeria will divide in Jesus' name. Amen. Is anybody say amen? Amen. 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 Good morning. morning, Mr. Christian Chukwu. How are you? Fine, and you? It seems you are in the para this morning. No, I know para. I just did. I just... You know that the weather cold, so I just... Are you part of the people that has been sent into poverty? We have 7 million Nigerians that have been sent into poverty. Am I part of them? I've been, I've, I've been there since. Okay, you're not in the new batch. I'm not in the new batch. I've been in the old batch even, even before 1967. Wow. <laughs> What is the cause of this? What is the cause of this? It is, to me, I think is is the what inability of the government to woo investors. I've, I've, I've said that countless times here. Wari is not is not in line with modern governance. The same Wari came up during the June 12 speech. He said he has little. 10.5 Nigerians out of poverty. And now, thank God, the World Bank has now debunked that. It, it is not even Nigerians so that has debunked it. All, all the Nigerian media, it is, the World Bank has, I read, I read the story. The World Bank had to what, do, had to do what, do a research. And now let the presidency, let the president come out and attack World Bank. That's all what you've said 
that you've lifted 10.5 million Nigerians out of poverty is false. This same thing you said you've, you've lifted 10.5 million Nigerians out of poverty, it does not reflect in life of me and you. Someone that lives below one dollar a day, is that person not poor? Poverty. That is that is extreme poverty. Someone that does not know where is or where is or where is our next meal is coming. Is that not poverty? Now, let us go by research now. Now, within this locality where we find ourselves now, when you walk to people now, ask them, do you have a job? Majority of them will tell you no job. About about ten, about like two percent. Now, within this, Ikeja has this now, are gainfully employed. Two percent. Two percent, yes. Let, uh, ha, like, like what, what is the population like? The population within this, Ikeja has this, at least we should, we should have over like 200, 200, 200 million people living within, within this axis. 200,000 people? Yes, yeah, 200,000 people. Only 20,000 people? It's not, it, I, I don't 20, think it's, people. yes, 20,000 people are just employed and the rest are non-employed. I was unemployed, and those, even the what, artisans, are they? Do they get? Do they get jobs for them to get themselves engaged or busy? No, that is not because one, there is what, uh, there is no power supply. So these are things that will make people not be what gainfully employed. And then again, one of these issue of of what unemployment is what, is what unemployment. Sorry, insecurity. When there is insecurity, investors will not come in. MTN has said, due to the rising insecurity, there might be no network. What is that saying? That, that since sooner or later, it might leave the shores of, of this country. It will affect businesses. It will affect now. Imagine MTN now shutting down mm. operation in, in Nigeria. Do you know how many persons that the MTN has employed in this part of the world? MTN is not only situated in this legal to MTN has branches across every part of the, uh, across all across across nooks and clinics of this country. More than more than any other more, more, yes, more than any now. Imagine MTN closing down his oppression because of what his security now. Tell me now, those ones again will now come and join those that are what on unemployment. And the number would would also what skyrocket. And now what is the person saying? Is is they even concerned? You see now, I think Nigerian is not living on the mercies of God. Mercy. I know nothing that, that that's that is it because now the president has not done enough to like ring to like think outside the box to leave people just to what leave people out of poverty. Now he, he said he said that the reason why he had to shut down the borders was because he wants to he wants to grow our economy. Ever since our border has been shut. What is the GDP of our country? Has there been any improve in terms of our GDP, of, of what our GDP? During the past administration, Nigeria was the fastest growing economy. That was what World Bank said. And then you see, and then and then again, when World Bank said that, it was that law also reflected with the price of commodity, commodities then, whereby dollar. Dollar to one naira is just is just is just is just is just one fifty. You can see that you can see that that alone, inflation would not have in, inflation is just minimal then. But ever since this our mugu came on board, inflation has been the order of the day. You cannot buy uh, uh, bread again. A loaf of bread that has been sold for 300 now is now five, 550, 600. And what is government doing about it? Mm. Mm. Okay. The crisis of the answers, Lai Mohammed, I know you heard the question, has uh, accused Jack Dorsey of being uh, responsible for the crisis. <laughs> Lai Mohammed should also accuse Jack Dorsey of not giving us good roads. It should also accuse him of not creatively enabling environment so people can be well. Like Mohammed should also accuse Jack, Jack Dossi of what plunking about 200 million Nigerians into poverty because he's because because what he's daft. If not for Jack Dossi platform Twitter, majority Nigerians in diaspora or see might not know what is happening here. For the fact that he gave us that platform to promote injustice. 
Make it was a platform for us, for our voice to be heard of this extra judicial killing by the government. Because you've come down, clamp down on, on what see on the media houses in Nigeria. You still want to do that to Twitter again? It's impossible. So Aladdin like Mohammed, if he if he doesn't if he doesn't think, he, he should just he should just start thinking. Because Alad Alad Mohammed to me is just a man. He's just a senseless man. Because how would an other statesman come out on air and start accusing him? What has he done? Is it the one that has plugged Nigeria into this catastrophe? Eh? Eh? Is he is that a footer body? Tell me. But the answer has protested that they use the Twitter. Why wouldn't they use it now? Nah, he's using a platform. Is he unconstitutional? Is it unconstitutional? Using a media platform to air your grievances, is it unconstitutional? Yeah? I'm asking you now. So what is he saying? What is he saying? Twitter, Twitter did not take side. Or is Twitter taking side? Well, okay, now. Now, the government has deprived you of your rights. Now, tell me, if you go to newspaper and publish it, is it a crime? It is not a crime. Now, I'll tell you that media are the fourth realm in government. They are the fourth realm. So if you cannot air your grievances on the media platform, where would you where would you air your grievances? So Allah Allah Muhammad is to me is a sinking ship. This government is sinking. And now they are not attributing every blame to Jack Dozzi. Uh, what has it done? Nothing. Okay, okay. Now that Twitter is gone, for, for, the, for the meantime, uh, are there other opportunities in Nigeria that Nigerians can seize? Because if there's no Twitter, there's something that should replace Twitter. I think the nonsense government is coming up with one Indian, with one China app. It's called Coco. Coco. Uh, is it Cook? Yes. Cook. I, I don't know about the app. I, yeah, I, Crow. Crow has been deleted by Google. That what? Crowy. Crowy. Uh, that one that belongs to uh, Garba. Yeah. As Garba as Shewu. Uh, uh, he's not crying far. He's not crying far because his what, account has been deleted. So you can see this situation is that, is that we, the governments are the cause of all these issues happening. You cannot make a policy just because the policy, so just because the stuff affected you. You now make sure that the policy is now really affecting people. It's uncalled for. Let Buhari have everything of, of let him have everything of our modern governance. This is not our modern governance. Ones. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. David. A very wonderful one. I okay. Let, let me let me greet my people. We have Victor Obuke, Eric Info. We cite you, Mr. Victor Obuke, a uh, very uh, wonderful guy. Nelson Gibbert, Emenike Paul, Winning Ways. Anna, you're okay. Tunde Okafor, Ishola Kolade Samuel, Ike Chukwezinwa, Hebwand, uh, and many more. Bouncing cast, bouncing cast to rentals. Winning ways, Nelson Gibbard. Keep on uh, making that uh, place busy. Good morning, Mr. Sunday. Good morning, my, my brother. Good morning. They say 7 million Nigerians has been launched formally In poverty. into poverty. Even the person may not tell you, 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 you don't know. But first of all, I want to wish all my beloved uh, sister friend, my reviewer. Ah, I forget that your country. Sister Juliet. Oh, Miss Juliet. <coughs> Mrs. Juliet, yesterday was your birthday, but after we speak, that yesterday I left, before she, she let me know that yesterday is her birthday. I will have wish her well. Please, my viewer, everyone, help me and wish Mrs. Juliet. Happy birthday. I like she's uh, is it US or Canada like that. But I wish I were. May God prosper you and your family, not to happen to you. I love you all for loving me. Okay. Thank you. Okay, seven million Nigerians have been plunged into poverty. No, according to World Health Organization. Mr. Christian, even though nobody tells you, you know that Nigeria have nothing to write to my back. I don't have anything. We are just managing by the grace of God. We live this country. You look like a big man. Oh, uh, forget about the statue. The statue cannot add anything. Even Buhari, when we president, no be like broom in the. Buhari just like broom before we come to power. So forget about the statue. Statue, statue never add anything okay. to any value. Even though nobody tell you, we here in Nigeria, we know that nothing is working. 
Eh? That is why you see, Oti today, you don't know that APC are still blaming PDP. You understand? Anybody that have a failure in, in my adage, make how is it in English? He said, he said a person that cannot that did not know how to plan hip will be complaining at the whole. It's not good. That is what I see in APC. Because all these are government that come to power. They have nothing to offer to Nigeria. After the many two years of General Bualia, Benny, you will see what will happen in this country. Nigeria will be begging food. Begging food. Now we are we are turning ourselves to beggar to borrow money. Everywhere they have their face fed, they'll be borrow, 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 borrow. Nigeria now look like beggar. You don't know. That's why no country value Nigeria again. They are just like beggar. That's why I'm not happy to be among the country. You understand? I can never be proud that I want to be in Nigeria because I've never benefited anything from them. You understand? So when you see all of them, you see hatred, you what Buhari is the president of the Flani and he's only fighting for the Flani people. Why is not if not fighting for you? If fighting hard, the Flani will be moving freely. One day Flani can come here now and take over this place. So that it's not possible. Who that is not possible? Anywhere their mind go to. You know how many countries they have conquered. Eh? Okay, now let's say there's a news I'm hearing that uh, this man, uh, Marafa, that uh, former Sikia. central bank, uh, deputy, deputy central bank of Nigeria, Marafa, yes, he make a he big allegation that Buhari have given money to one man in Niger to import ammunition for Nigeria. There's nobody trustworthy in Nigeria again because Buhari have tell you people that Niger is his brother. It's the British that divide them. That's why Nigeria had to go. So, but as it come to power, he want them to come back, let God be one. That is why they want to change Nigeria to uh, United African Republic. You that have never united only one people you have. As a, like this, only Nigeria as a cycle. You have not united them. You want to unite the whole Africa. My brother, you see where the problem is, Abi? They are all confused. That is why... If, that Lala Mohammed, Lala Mohammed, you know this, that man? The day God will remember him. His name is Lai Mohammed. I don't know. Why did Papa give a lie? Na lie. Lai, Lai Mohammed. Anything have opposite. Na Lai, Lai Mohammed be name. If that man is one of the disaster ministers we have in this country. Eh? Dis disaster. You know what they call disaster? Because when he come out, he will open his mouth. That, he go use the law mouth. When he put that for mic, he will begin to talk rubbish. What is happening or what is not happening? What concerns Nigeria with Twitter? If Twitter, if Twitter removed, Donald Trump account was removed. Did Donald Trump ban Twitter for America? But because of say, Buhari look at everybody in Nigeria that nobody has power to do anything to him. Say, maybe he's above the law. Maybe he's like a president. Okay? The Gaddafi, the key Gaddafi inside home. A time rich. You understand? All this that Buhari is doing, you should not think that he's above everything. When a time rich, when everybody rise up for him, he won't say, now watch go chop in meat. Because nobody will be there to pick in dead body. Yes, brother. That time, the brother cannot come out. Gaddafi not have children, have army, have everybody. Okay, when the time comes, you know that when the mentality of everybody rise up, how many are the government? How many are there inside there? Why are they frustrating our citizens? They are frustrating people, nothing to write them about. And you are expect to laugh with the people. And they will come and say, to bring a lazy solution to the issue. Raising our bad full stuff, everything. Yeah, high of increase. Go to school now. Not, see, it's only in Nigeria you want to finish university for four years. Make you just write up a paper saying that eight years will they finish. Because that, before that four years, now go go strike. Like two years, now go sit for strike. You go go start from where you start from. Have you go jump up? Tell me now, will you jump? You can't jump. You go start from square one. The place you stop. Where the strike come. And you tell me that this one is a country. I got nothing to write down for here. Even though they burn you, they burn you. That's why I say I'm not proud of being in Nigeria. Even though they give birth to you in Nigeria, nothing. In hospital, if you, they give birth to you, how do you be? You last how many years ago, see they pay the hospital fee for there. You understand? Government will not give you anything. Even though you see, go to hospital, you must pay money before they answer you. Even though the president, the governor, everybody, the senator, they don't know how their people in their constituency are living because of them now. Have, I relocate to Abuja. Go and find, even all of them, this body, Kenya uh, representative or senator, even, even the Tinubu wife is not living in Lagos. They are living where? Abuja. They don't know what is happening in their constituency. I will tell me that they have a people. Those people are not fighting for you, they're only fighting for their children. You understand? Where they are fighting for their children, they want their children to live. Can you see a, a son of a senator walk on the road? Can you see a walk of a son of a... Have you seen a local government picking before? 
Even the Ojodu like I come here. Where they near here? This Ojodu. Have you seen his son? I be his daughter. He must have children. You understand? Have you seen the one on one before? They are not around. They are take them out to another country and leave you to suffer. When election read, they will give you five hundred naira, and that is why we can never. The hardship and suffering in Nigeria, some mad people are passing through. Eh? It's because of what? Lack of knowledge. The Bible said it. Say my people destroy because of what? Lack of knowledge. There is hope for Nigeria. Which hope? What is the hope? Very soon. Okay, now. Nah. Wait, 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 wait. Like yesterday, Oshibanja was driving electric electric car. Very soon, motor will not be using petrol again. What is the benefit that we're going to benefit for electric car? The oil we have. The oil we are producing, what have you benefited from it? Is it not the only politician that, you, that benefited from it? They will go to Nigeria and put pipeline to their place. That is why I do not blame those people in Asorok. I blame the mad traditional ruler we have in the south, south and southeast. They only after, after the little money they give to them. They are very, all of them, I tell you, they are very stupid. And I don't, I don't have a damn. Okay? They don't know their right. If they know their right, can you? They Boko Haram, the way Boko Haram start. You know that many traditional rulers know them. All they do, they know who are the Boko Haram. Shekau mother is walking on the road freely. Nothing has happened to them. And you tell me that I should come and be laughing, I should come and be laughing with them. You understand? They take your future, they take what belongs to you. After they will come to newspaper, they will come to TV and be just speaking. Like Edin Clark, I love him before, but he always speaks with that action. He always talk with that action. He will be shouting, making noise. But when they, when they give him money, he might to shut up. That's why I want him and the candle that time where I started talking about what's coming. I tell him and the candle say, be careful of this man. This man is a devil and it's only after what he will eat. That's why I'm a big part of my own. Because means I don't know like him. Those are the struggle. Those are the people that struggle for Niger Delta. What has Niger Delta achieved since after the struggle? Can you tell me? Amnesty. Which amnesty? How many of them are benefiting from the amnesty now? It's only a particular group that are benefiting from it. Not everybody in the Niger Delta. After the amnesty they give to them, all of them go to East, go to South, the traditional ruler, they are just waiting, make the federal government come give them some more money for hand. They are mad to shut up. Anything happen in the land, no concern them. What, of, what about Ogwani clean up? That the Buhari and Anko used to deceive Niger data. Has any traditional ruler come out to talk about it again? But that, that case have closed because they have chopped the money. You know, you understand? So we we as a youth, me, I never I never want to follow those mad government. And I never want to follow the mad traditional ruler. They are fighting for their chef's interest and their children, children. That decide to the governors, that decide to the president and the senator and the representative. They don't like you. That is why when the election comes, they will come to your street and tell you, go and vote. After you went to vote, they will carry their talk to come and kill you for polling unit. Is that how they will continue in this useless country? And we don't have a leader. After what they're after, when they want to do campaign. I say useless leader, useless leader in the country. They are useless anybody that follow the country. You understand? Mommy, see. So, when, when many of them are just there fighting for their personal interests, and you tell me to be praying for, which country will I pray for? Will I pray for a Nigeria that is planning for my death? Will I pray for a country that is wishing me, that never wish me good because of the devilish leader they have in office? Okay, you know, in the whole world, Nigeria have the highest pastors. They pray every day, they shout, they do vigil, and you tell me that I should pray for them. Who will I pray for? Okay, people are getting angry every day. You see, there is security. I tell you last week that it's just the beginning. If they do not do anything about it, it's like that. If you can can walk freely on the road, I pop also must walk freely. Thank you very much. Or do must walk freely. Thank you very much. Because Sunday. if they try to do any harm again, the insecurity now is just the beginning. And that is the message I sent to you. General Buaya and Malami, everybody. If you get here, have here, let him here. If you know here, when he catch you, you know that your power is just useless. That's it, of power. One day, all of them will come up for there and we will hunt them. Okay. Bet me. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sunday, that is a very sensitive one. The but a very good contribution. I asked him a question. I said, is there hope for Nigeria? Hope for Nigeria? Mr. Lucky said there is hope. Okay, Lucky says there is hope for Nigeria. Lucky is from uh, Edo State now. He says there is hope. No, he said there is hope. You went to Nigeria, Okay. Anyway, if there is hope for Nigeria, it means full are hoping in Jesus Christ.
Fulani are no longer hoping in Meiti Allah ideology. That is when there will be hope for Nigeria. But again, let me tell you, why should someone ask, is there any hope for Nigeria? If you are praying for hope now for Nigeria here, all of us that gathers in Oba here, we are praying for hope for Nigeria. Some people are scattering our prayer at Asso Rock. Some people are scattering our prayer at government secretaries around the country. And they are still praying with many pastors and Alpha. As we are praying now, let me tell you for Nigeria, somebody that is siphoning money on a daily basis has over 30 pastors praying for him. So it's a question of good and the bad struggling. But I know that at the end of the day, the good will triumph which over the bad. Which one is the, good? the good are the Nigerians. The good are well able Nigerians with good ideologies. The good are Nigerians that have resilience for patriotism. The good one are the people who are paying taxes, who are promoting the economy of the country, who are everywhere in Nigeria, building house in Abuja, Kaduna, Lagos, Ogun State, Anambara. Those people are the real federal people. They are Republicans. They are the good. You don't stay only in Ogun State. You don't go to Onitsha. You don't know anything about Onitsha. You stay only in Ogun. When Onitsha man that has traveled all over the world talk or speak, you will come and challenge him. He's more, he's wiser than you, he's more educated than you. You cannot stay only in Anambra. You go tackle an Ijebu man that travel everywhere. An Ochobo man that has lived in Ghana, in Cote d'Ivoire. Yo, you live in Anambra alone, you know only on the nature, okay? I'm giving a good instances. I'm a republic, I'm a federal man. So, anybody that means well for this country must be a good republican. Okay, who is not the bad? The bad one are the people whose ideology is only our own, our own. Our own, our own. You know the people I'm talking about? Fulani. Fulani virtually occupied the whole seat of power in Nigeria. Every federal position. Fulani. Federal Minister of Information. Fulani. Lai Mohammed is confusing you people. He's from Elori State. 95% of Elori indigenous are Fulani. No. no, I don't agree with you. Sarkis, who are they? Because they are Oluchola Saraki. The land in which they live, on which they live, is your land. So they, 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 they intermarry. No, no, no. 95% are flying. Afonja, Afonja has been deposed. Afonja has been killed. They took over there. And, the, and do what? Install Emirates in a lorry. Let me tell you, Fulani control a lorry. Are you listening to me? I agree with you on that. Oh, I'm telling you, Fulani is the one everywhere in a lorry there. The whole position in Nigeria, Lai Mohammed is a Fulani man. Gambari is a full animal. Boss Mustafa is a full animal. Are you listening? Abu Bakr Malami, Ewa is a full animal. Buhari is a full animal. The 10 people that are personifying Buhari, Nigerian president, are full and full and all of them. What are you telling me? Ranging from controller custom to, to a controller prison, from a controller uh, immigration. Down to IG of police, Fulani, what are you telling me? Chief of Army Staff is Fulani, what are you telling me? They are everywhere. Eh, they are not up to 4 million. They are controlling over 250 something million people. We are Mugu, Ewu. Nigerians are Mugu. See, see me well, I tell you, you are Mugu. If you see me on the road, if you don't like it, I will tell you the reason why you are Mugu. They are Mugu. Look at simple, simple spoon, spoon, ordinary spoon, spoonful. Too small, they are controlling everybody. Every day, any any day that day breaks in Ibo land, Uso Dimba, Omae, Obiano, Okazi, this and what the what's the name of that? Uguay, eh? Uguay, only Okowa, Okowa, the man that is saying the truth. The rest, us, they will go to north down before this.
It's all right, right? Okay. So that's why I'm telling you that the good, the bad, the ugly, the good, the well-meaning Nigerians, people that have re resilience for patriotism, the bad, people that minded only themselves. Every day that goes, themselves. You borrow money from China, what did you use that money for? It's getting to one trillion on debt service, you know. I don't mean the total amount borrowed, the principal, I'm not talking about the principal. I'm talking about the interest. Servicing of the debt, not the principal law. Only the servicing of debt in how many months? Nigerians, Nigeria is spending one trillion to service debt. Where are those infrastructures? Where are those developmental amenities? Where are those things you use the money for? Show us, let us see it. None. They are carrying all this money to Niger Republic, inviting their brothers from Mali, Senegal, Gambia, Burkina Faso, Chad, everywhere to invade in Nigeria. And that is the ideology. They have accumulated enough money. Let me tell you, if Biafra go, yeah, we will make money we know. But before we offset our debt, we will do like this. We are going to cheer out of that debt. Odudua Republic is cheering out of that debt too. It's not only Nigeria that is going to, to pay the money, if ever Nigeria remains that time. Mm. They will cheer it. Everybody will cheer the debt. So you see, they are causing trouble to you and I. Some of you who believe in one Nigeria, like Lucky. Lucky say uh, there is hope for Nigeria. There is hope. If that time comes, they will go to Igodomi Igodo. They don't stay there and arrest Lucky. Make Lucky go. Lucky should help pay. Because Lucky support one Nigeria. He likes one Nigeria. Okay, rise in prices, send seven more, million more Nigerians into poverty. Price in prices of what? Food oh, or whatever. Uh, food, yeah. uh, food items, uh, the, the price has been going up and up over the months, years now, let's say two years' time, because of Fulani's, uh, Hessmen, you know, activities in the farmland, in the forest, everywhere in Ibo land, in Fulani, in, uh, in Aousa land, in the mid belt, especially Benue, Nasrawa, and the Kogi state. So people are afraid to go to farm. What kind of a man will be happy if you are farming in your farm? Somebody will come with AK-47. After questioning you, he will send you to an early grave. So nowhere, no farmland is secure again. Ranging from Ibo land to Ijo land, nowhere is secured. See, so, you say there is no cow in River State to Nalayo. Cows, they, they carry their cows, the waka, for River State there. They have been wandering from places to places, one place to another. In the mid belt, they are there. In Anambra State, where will they make man safe land? They are there. Some of them are defending themselves. We are good flan, eh? we are not killing you. One day now, you, they will strike. It is the fish, it is the, the rat that lives in the house that tells those rats that a uh, mouse, or what do you call them, that lives in the farmland where the fish is. When they visit the house, the one in the house will lead the one from the farmland and take him to the Uko, Uko or Ngega, where fishes are hidden. From there, those rats will eat the fish. So it's like Fulani, Nigeria Fulani that are inviting those, their foreigner counterpart, foreign counterpart from Mali, Senegal. So if you say you don't have Fulani everywhere now, see, they kill in Ogun State, Yahweh, Yahweh, local government. That one, they, 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 they never carry it on the news. They are killing people there. Buhari open northern borders. Where do we have the borders there? Katsina, Sokoto, Boronu, Niger. Niger, everywhere. The whole borders there are open. Buhari closed the whole borders in the southern Nigeria. Where do we have borders here? Idroko, Owode, Ijebu. Don't you know we have border there? Ondo, everywhere. Lagos here. They close everywhere. Then open their northern, the whole northern border, north borders. Because of what? Because of tribalism. They open it there by making the security over there so porous. People from Sahel, dangerous people from Libya, people from Burkina Faso, dangerous people from Niger, they are entering from northern axis into our land. Maiming and killing. What's the solution? See, what's the solution to this enormous problem? This enormous problem, the only solution I always tell you here, I don't believe in one Nigeria anymore because I don't want a situation whereby I will pray. My neighbor is there busy. Listening to my prayer, when I pray finish, my neighbor will just undo what I did. So let me tell you, so the best thing, the best solution now, as I'm talking to you is division. Disintegration. Nigeria has not come to be together. Even before and after independence, there are people like Enahoro and the rest. They talk that after 
Britain handed over independence, uh, whatever, ever to us. Each person will go to their region, Zik, Awolowo, Abakatafa, Abalawa, and the rest. But to everybody's surprise, they carry the same Nigeria where they seek to get again as a nation. Since 1960 now, where did we go from here? Argument every day. Ogadurin Chagari regime, there was argument to Atanda Musa, Fataya William, Ovi Whiskey. These are people in the upper house and lower house then. Debate, 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 debate. Then come um, Babangida, the same debate started. When Babangida said he's tired, they are stepped aside. Abacha came. Abacha even elected some civilian governors while he was head of state then. Debates. National Confab was held. Omar Diko slapped Ojuku. Ojuku beat Omar Diko stupor. The same debates. So he had another Confab or National Guinea One conference in 2014 by Jonathan. The same debate. Fight. Do me, I do you. God, no, 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 go first. Fight every day. We are not meant to be together. Okay. Your bad should mind the public of Odudua. Mid bad should come out with any platform they like of or an arrangement and call it their own home country. Okay. Ibo man already, we know our own. We are the state, black state of Biafra, the Jews. Thank you very much. Uh, Hello, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Yeah, morning. How you doing, man? What's up? No, I'm going somewhere. So what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, how do we look at the rise in the number of poverty Nigerians that have been taken from the non-poverty line to the poverty line? We have 7 million more Nigerians that have been taken to poverty line. Not only poverty line, not only 7 million has been taken to poverty line. No, there are some before. Yeah, I'm, I'm just even saying this. That statement is not correct. Not just into poverty, abject, abject poverty. As we are talking now, there are some people picking food in the dustbin. Picking food. Yeah, in the dustbin to eat. I met a man here last week. What he needed just was hundred naira to buy just gary and grand nuts to eat. I was so moved. I collected his, what's it called, contacts. What I could manage to give, I gave. Because people have mercy on me. So I have to show the mercy around. There's abject poverty. And some idiots will sit down in the seat of power in that Asoro, that demonic house they called Asoro, and be bringing out fake reports, economic reports Why is it about that Nigeria. Nigerian, Nigerian has been pulled out of poverty. No, no, they, they, they are gotten uh, jobs. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Jobs. That's what he's saying. In a, that was why the World Bank replied him. I think the only thing, worst thing they could do, in which it's not possible for them to do, is to ban the regional office of World Bank in Nigeria. No, they because they know they are going to suffer for it. Because they, they will still go and clap begging for loan from them. And people that are giving this loan, they they not seen what you are utilizing this loan for. When you are using four billion to feed in Asso Rock in a year. Yeah. How will you know there is poverty? Maybe one of these days we should drag him to Ogba market here and price the food items. 100% skyrocket. Cannot, cannot even buy anything. Buy I want it. beans now. Somebody was telling me, I was pricing beans. A bucket of uh, paint of beans was 1.8 before, but it's now 3.6. Do you know what I heard? Yeah, do you know what the, the reply I heard from the market women? It's only rich men that can afford beans now. So, they, I mean, put us to the level of abject suffering abject poverty and anybody telling you story that this country will be better off is just still dreaming let everybody sit down you know i've been saying this let everybody sit down generally. share what you have to share for the region and let them go their way and there will be peace and mind you we are still going to inherit, inherit bad leadership in all regions like the bad ones in the southwest, we are still going to inherit them. In the southeast, the people of southeast are still going to inherit them. But they are bad leadership. The leftover of Buhari, the leftover of all this APC, PDP. So what is there? Let everybody and the youth should have a voice and retire all these people. Either by 
it's, if it, you, can, you cannot get it on the platter of gold. You have to fight for it. Because this is your right. And you want to get your right on the platter of gold. It, will, it won't be easy. You fight hard for it. You fight hard for it. But are the youth ready to fight hard for this? And I could say, I got a lot of encouragement through the answers. Just to now, show Lord them. Now, has said that this CEO, Jack Dorsey, is responsible for the crisis. During the answers. He never disassociated. Twitter was a medium whereby people... Yeah, yeah. He never disassociated himself from Twitter. Mind you. When... You know, I said youth life matters. Twitter CEO, key into that. That Nigerian youth life doesn't matter. Nigerian youth have been impoverished, have been enslaved. It's just remaining to go and bury them. When they die, when they slump, start slumping and die. What is causing insecurity in this country? Is unemployment. An angry man, an hungry man is an angry man. You can do anything. Have you tried it one day? That to even get a square meal in a day, are you not eating breakfast till like five, four? Won't you do anything to get yourself alive, to feed? It, it seems you don't know there's poverty in this country, extreme poverty in this country. And who brought us to all this level? It's all this bastard politician, bastard leadership we've been having. They send their kids, best schools abroad, keep them in a safe haven, and they turn son of carpenter, son of bricklayer, son of, they turn them to talk on the street. Is that better? Is, is, that, is that the right way? Nigeria army begs Boko Haram and Iswap to surrender and make peace. You heard that story? How would the Iswap want to make peace with Nigerian army? When Iswap... My issue is that the Nigerian army begging. Hey, that's what I'm going. Okay. They can never. It's an international, international terrorist group. They are not only in Nigeria. Iswap is every. They are in Afghanistan. They are, they are just. It's just like cell, cell group. I mean, cell group ter, uh, terrorist group of like uh, ISIS, of uh, what's it called? What they call this? Those ones in uh, in Ash Afghanistan, Ashaba, the the Taliban, the Taliban, the Taliban, ISIS. ISIS. So they are just cell of those. So Nigerian chapter or Nigerian branch. Of uh, West Africa, West Africa, uh, but, but Nigeria is their headquarters now. Here, they have the population here. They, are, they troop here because they know they can get a lot of targets here. Nigeria is a porous country. They cannot do that in Ghana because Ghana is so organized and secure, right? So, the problem of insecurity in this country, they know themselves, and they are coming out to open up themselves up that there are some informants, there are some people that are hating Boko Haram. When bandits will just stay in the bush and make 150 million, where what account is that 150 million going to? What account? Do the bandit has a bank account in, 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 in Nigerian banks? Who are the people collecting that money on behalf of bandits? You see, when time comes, everybody will go come out. If now Asura will go first march to, or Alausa here, from there we must march to Asura to go and occupy it and sit tight there, say, Enough is enough. Enough is enough to bad rubbish. Mm. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Thank you. Uh, just two minutes. Good morning, sir. Uh, Your good name, morning. sir? My name is uh, Mr. Moses. Mr. Moses? Yeah. Okay, what do you have to say uh, about... Okay, so what we are discussing. Of course. What would you be see, your... You are making me to forget a lot of things I wanted to discuss. You see, let me tell you one thing. As a father, you have a three children. And the love of two children ahead to work. What do you think that's going to happen? Crisis. Crisis. That is the problem of Nigeria. You see, Nigerians are not telling themselves the truth. Sorry. They are not telling themselves the truth. Okay? When Nigerians get up and start saying the truth about ourselves, there will be a peace under one moment. Sir, you see, Nigeria case is a minor case. It's not a difficult as we look at it. The so-called rulers that are ruling us in over there, you see, they don't want us to be like them. They believe the power, the money, the everything is their hand. So they can intimidate ordinary Nigerians where their lives. Now, let me ask you a question. I'm talking about insecurity. In your village, you have a vigilante that guard your village where you are living. 
and you make you to sleep well. Because you know that we are paying for the vigilante. Any deal that come out for night, what is the work of vigilante? They will hurt them. Is it not true? Now, full of names, eh? using the opportunity they have from the outside, from the origin. Eh? They want to use it to humiliate every citizen of this country in the, in the sense that their brother is the empower, is number one president, number one citizen of this country. My brother, you will see that a man told you this. If a blood in Nigeria, a son of Nigeria, a blood in Nigeria, become a president of Nigeria, I give you under six months, you will never see anything like flying in this country. Because he knows what to do. Let me give you. In which is Obasanjo? Obasanjo, the former head of state, was in the power of this flanny herdsman. Uh, I don't think there will still be anything flanny for today. Because he's a blood Nigeria. At least he's a saint. Because I know he's a field. I know what he can do. During the time of Ogoni Kingdom, when the death has Ogoni. Ogoni, God bless you. A taste like that brought up. I know what he did. He's become. If a really Nigeria become a president of Nigeria, he knows where to send armies, soldiers to go, to get all those people off. But do you know one thing? You are an, you are a flan, me. I'm in Nigeria. You are you are you are harder than me. Are you not sending me to go and kill your brother? My going to kill those people, you will not send this man. As I'm going, he should shoot me so that they will not get people I'm going to attack. You see, now we they do ourselves. Now we they tell ourselves sorry. Mm. Yes. Now we they do ourselves. Now we they tell ourselves sorry. Are you hearing me? Yeah. So, what's the way forward? Thank you. The way forward is this they should remove the chief of army staffs, they should put a Nigeria. A blood in Nigeria, a son of what son. do you mean by the blood in Nigeria? Bless, I like your waters. A man that is not a flani. Flani is not a Nigerian child. Yoruba, Igbo. We have Hausa. Hausa is different from flani. Mm. Even the flanis have already intimidated the really Hausa. If the really Hausa, let's forget sentiment. Let me forget say the Igbo or Yoruba. If the really Hausa of son of the son of this country become a chief of army stars. Flani will be vanished in this country. Mm. If an Yoruba man do still chief of army stars, or okay, and they allow them to operate. And they allow them to operate. They don't know what to do. Bush is their field. Soldiers were trained inside Bush. They were not trained inside city. If a war broke out now, they are going to inside Bush. Is it not true? There's no Bush in this country, soldiers doesn't know. In short, soldiers are more, they know bushes more than flannies because they know where to go. They know the boundaries of this country, where they can capture these flannies. The, my brother, they know what to do. And they know the tactics they can use. Mm. Are you hearing me? If a, a soldier, Nigerian chief of army staff work, and they begin to allow him, because every general has his own battalion. Let me tell you today, every general has his own battalion. As, as this chief of army staff is now, he has his own battalion. This uh, former chief of army staff that just gone, that died, mm. he has his own battalion. So those one goes with his own battalion inside forest. My brother, the flan needs to vanish in this country. So now tell me, you are talking about high price. Why would you think it would be very costly? Your mother in the village cannot go farm. Your father in the village cannot go farm. Nobody in the village can go farm. When you go to farm, you become afraid. Even me and you as you are now, you go to a farm now, you cannot do anything. Where you are doing a farm, you are looking at like this. So that somebody will not hit a digger for back. Are you hearing? My brother, how will he get food to eat? Where people of Flanny will not allow us to farm in our own land, where we were born, mm. where we were originated. So you know that this is very wrong, gone out of hand. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Your name, sir? I'm Mr. Moses. We would like you to come frequently. You didn't have me back to frequently. express my uh, Tomorrow, just come tomorrow. Yeah, that is wonderful from, from Mr. Moses. Uh, we are saying a big thank you.
to everyone that has spoken. I saw Mr. Okokon he has left, he's no more around. Yes, that's uh, it for it uh, today. Thank you for those that have contributed. Uh, Juliet's birthday, according to Mr. Ch is it? Mr. Sunday. Happy birthday, Juliet. Uh, you can also uh, make your comment so that we can make it official and formal. Okay, you can also reach us on Flip TV, Facebook, Flip TV NG. That is what you need to type. Flip TV NG, small letter, Flip TV NG on Facebook for more updates and, and commentaries. Okay? Uh, that is it for you today. Uh, a big thank you to the man behind the camera, Mr. Femi. I'm Christian Chuku. Reaching me on Facebook, Chuku Christian, C-H-U-K-W-U. Christian and after that uh, we'll get uh, more reviews and updates. Okay, bye for now as we come tomorrow for another wonderful edition of Bystanders at the Newsstand. Make to God be the glory.